There we are. I think we're on now. Yes, we should be on now. Mm -hmm. Woo! It appears to be unmuted. It appears to be unmuted. The There's magic. no blinking light there, and that one is uh, popping off because of sound. So hopefully uh, we should be good. Um, Pop popping off was the word that my parents used when I was like three, when they were like, "Did you fart? Did you <laughs> pop off?" So. Uh, <laughs> Good start to the stream. <laughs> Welcome. With me almost choking on my Coke Zero. That's very good, Joel. I just That's, got uh, double Coke Zero bonus rewards <laughs> from, the, uh, from the Coke machine today. Yes. So. Yeah, you were quite lucky there. I, was, we, um, I won the Funcom lottery. <laughs> you did win, <laughs> win the Funcom. Unmuted confirmed. Awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys can uh, hear us okay enough. Uh, please let us know if you don't. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... This is a dev stream. Welcome to our Golden Excel launch stream. It's only two months. I haven't slept. I haven't slept in two months, <laughs> and I look like it. No. Um, yeah, we uh, we kind of did a boo boo on the the launch stream, unfortunately, because we were very tired and things were being and things were broken. Things were hectic. We basically we patched like. 25 times in a month, I mean. Yeah, like <laughs> patching pretty much every single day Yes. Uh, for about a month or so. Uh, someone in chat is asking if there will be no SWL news. Uh, no, this is a Content Exile stream, so we're not going to talk about... Also, the abbreviation legends. is S-W-O-L-E. Swole. Swole, baby. Oh, yeah. Swole. Yeah. Uh, today, we're going to talk <laughs> about Content Exiles. We're going to show off some new stuff. Uh, we're going to show off the trebuchet, which is now live. Live. In the game, yes, it is in dying the system. Are we going to look at that? Yeah, we can. We can do that. We can. We can spawn in some dies and we show off talk some about of that the stuff. things we've been doing. Yeah, it's been it's been two hectic months. Other than bug fixing, we should talk about the things we've been doing so people can see. Yes. Alrighty. Um, should, by the uh, way, we should introduce ourselves again. We should do that for new viewers. Yes, so I'm Jens Eric. I'm the community manager on Colin Exiles. Uh, I'm the guy people yell at on the internet, and then I go and tell them. But uh, yes, this is a good feedback, or no, this is bad feedback. No, I don't tell them it's bad feedback. I just, uh, yes. I'm the guy who read pretty much everything you guys post. I'm the guy who um, will uh, go through all your YouTube videos. And, uh, and I'm the guy that he hates and loves to <laughs> yell at. No, I'm the guy who's you come uh, to constantly me nagging you about, we need to do this, so we need to do this, mm. so we need to do this. So, uh, and yeah, but who are you? Uh, my name is Joel Bylos, and I am the creative director at Funcom. So yes. I'm the guy who gets yelled at by him <laughs> as a proxy for you. No, I know. It's, uh, oof. yeah, let's just jump in and yeah. start playing. Tweak Nuts, I don't know what this nonsense is. Uh, I know who Tweak Nuts is. He's, uh, he's, one, he's a server admin on one of the uh, popular private servers that we have. Mm. So, uh, hey, Tweak Nuts. Oh, TCO's there. Hey, TCO TSW. All right. Long time no chat. Uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick thing here to fix the black bars on the oh, screen. Yes. I don't know why that keeps happening, but it keeps happening for some reason. There we are. Uh, probably should have done that before the stream started, but you know we're nothing if not unprofessional. professional. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's roll. Let's roll. All Trebuchet. Right. Let's look. Let's look at this base. By the way, this is a thing of beauty. Yes. This was made by Turegil, our communications manager. He is uh, quite adept at uh, building things. I think he's much better than I am. I believe this was all made in-game. It's very destructible, at least. Uh, you can see parts of it in the... Um, you can see parts of it in the, um, the recent video that we did about the trebuchet itself. So he's got some... He's got a vault down here, big big well. He's got a wheel of pain, lots of... Uh, dancers and uh yeah it's a pretty pretty impressive stuff it is pretty i like it i like his watch fires mm -hmm. and his well his his walls are usually full of archers who yes kill me with arrows but he also has a uh defensive trebuchet that uh, maybe we'll be able to knock down sometime during this uh this nice. stream here so uh we're gonna walk again and so uh for the trebuchet i'm just gonna show off my character as well this is what she looks like in third person Wearing the uh, new Dogs of the Desert armor. Does she have the helmet? The she does not have the helmet in her inventory. At the, the helmet moment. is like one of the coolest pieces of armor. Let's I'm not then spawn in the helmet. I'm not criticizing you for not having the helmet. I'm just saying. Let's see, hyena, hyena skull helmet. It is a pretty cool helmet, though. You got to give that some credit. There we go. It's nice. So we added this to the game last week. Yes, we did. So one of our uh, one of our magical. 
things is that from now on we're going to be patching content every week to make sure people always have new stuff to, to do and play with when they come into the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's destroy this base. Let's point. destroy this base. So far, I'm just going to walk through some of the steps that we need to do to, sure. to get the, the trebuchet going. So for all siege weapons, so we're going to add to the game, and we're going to add more siege weapons eventually, you need the uh, uh, this thing right here, which is called the Siege Foundation. And it's basically a round circular platform that you can build other things on. And yes. it can... And uh, I will just slightly correct you there. Okay. For the siege uh, tower, you'll need the movable siege foundation. Of course, because you're going to have to push it. The one you can uh, push and build yeah. on. Yep. Um, someone in chat is asking, uh, what's the reasoning for bringing in trebuchets, like right now? Well, because we're working on... Well, first of all, because we started working on trebuchets before launch. So we wanted <laughs> want to finish them. Secondly, we're working on a siege patch. Uh, people keep saying trebuchets are a... Uh, you know, they're only for attackers, but they're very much designed around the idea that people will be able to defend against them as well um and they're also supposed to be used defensively so mm -hmm. it's kind of the idea yeah <laughs> so onto the foundation you then can build your uh, trebuchet base which you learn by unlocking the uh, carpenter's bench and so you make the base in the carpenter's bench then you uh, take it with you and uh, when you place it it looks a little bit like this and it's a regular circular whoops until you until you place it come on there we go <laughs> and it's a circular platform that we can then rotate as we uh, push on this thing here and inside the trebuchet base we can then add the trebuchet frame which costs 200 wood and 39 reinforcement and then on the base we make the trebuchet arm which also costs 200 wood and 30 so so again the reason the reason so people again talk about the trebuchet from an attacking point of view you need to build this at the location. It's not a movable object apart mm -hmm. from it's rotatable. So if you're going to attack somebody's base, you need to declare your intention by placing the trebuchet base and foundation there and then upgrading them over time, which gives players the opportunity to defend themselves and come out and attack the trebuchet. Yes. Yes. And now I'm just going to remove this. And then when you have the uh, frame so built... Someone was asking about why release the trebuchet but not fix the pillar base issue. So we can't... We, <laughs> we can't suddenly just make an object appear in the game we actually have to work on it for a little while so like the trebuchet was something we started to work on um a while ago now some of the things that people for example are complaining about exploits and things will be fixed when we add you know the ability to get into or to climb you know up the sides of mountains and use mechanics to do that but those mechanics take a little bit of time to create yeah you can't just do them in one day so the reason the trebuchet was added first is because it was something we've worked on for longer Is it actually being... No, it's not. It's a bit... Uh, there we go. And so there we have the trebuchet frame. Same thing. You add the trebuchet arm, which costs some twine, iron reinforcement, and wood. And then you eventually get the final trebuchet, which should look something like this. And there we go. And now we can fling a 90 kilo projectile over 300 meters using counterweights. 90 kilograms, huh? Yes. Um, mm. For people who hang out on trebuchet memes, they know exactly what that means. Um, <laughs> trebuchet memes, oh, that was so great. R slash trebuchet memes, that, yeah. And of course, the, um, the platform can be raised and lowered as you're uh, placing it. Uh, and we already have one pre-built. That's what's three gonna... questions, but I can't see them because the chat has scrolled. Yes. Ask them again. Ask them again, please. Um, and we're because uh, we're focusing both on the game and trying to focus on the chat as well. Hopefully, uh, we'll get uh, Aling in here at some point, or maybe uh, uh, one of our other community managers who can uh, who can go into. This some thing. people are using the top as a site. Was that foreseen happening? Um, I mean, we knew that people would cite the counter, cite the uh, trebuchet via. I use the middle, the gap in the middle. If that's what you mean by site. Oh, like to to aim with. Oh yeah, I can see that. So, I mean, guys, remember we are in early access. We are working on um, making sure that we have defensive options as well. I think there's going to be some pretty cool defensive options coming in the in the big Siege update, which includes lots and lots of other things, including, for example, ballistas that trolls, uh, thralls can mount and shoot. Yeah. And, yeah, there's lots of things in the defense side of the Sieges as well. Yeah, and, like, for example, if you build a base that's more angular, and like star-shaped, for example, that can help you against... Trebuchets. Yeah, trebuchets. If you build, if you build walls in front of walls in front of walls, then they will take more time to to, to knock it down, basically. Yeah. And um, so inside the trebuchet, you can build the uh, the boulders, and you can also build something called Demon Fire Barrage, which we'll show you later. And of course, this being a developer stream, 
We've uh, pre-cheated a bit, and we're going to pull out some of these boulders right about here. I think we're going to take, you know what, we're going to take everything. Screw it. Uh, so let's see, what else we got? Oh, this... Is that so? What does new content every week entail? Well, new content means new things in the game, so it could be an armor set, um, new recipes for different things. Uh, yeah, it's basically new gameplay, new new things to find, harvest, etc. I'm just going to read through some of these. Yeah. Um, how about Chinese tribes using rendering glitches to get through doors? Yes, of course we're looking at, <laughs> at these things all the time. Yep. Um, it's not a, it's not a rendering glitch. It's a it's a Logging out at the correct moment and hoping that the server keeps tracking your position in an incorrect way glitch. So yes. we know what it is. Uh, fixing it is slightly more difficult. That's all right. And like, if you know about if you know about exploits and how to perform them, we have an exploits hunters program where you can get some rewards back if you go to, I think it's exploithunters. Colonexiles.com or colonexiles.com slash exploit hunters. If you go to blog.colonexiles.com, you'll find the link there. Yes. And uh, yeah, that we just, will, we that just started doing our, um, yeah. our exploit bounty, which is super awesome. Yes. Explain the counterweights. Sorry. Yes. Uh, trebuchets, uh, as I mentioned before, they work with counterweights. And so to fling the siege boulder, which we've added here to the ammo and the inventory, you need counterweights. Because right now, if we try to fire it, it won't fire because mm. there's no counterweights. And so let's say we add in some stone to this thing, and uh, we'll see what happens. That... Uh, 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 hit something. You reached the wall. I the, reached the wall. The velocity, the damage is also slightly calculated on yeah. um, velocity. Someone's asking me if I think the avatar system works. No, I mean, the avatar system's not completely finished, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this being early access, a lot of things aren't finished, this and everything is, is subject is to change. Like, this is uh, really important to remember. Like we are working on making this stuff, but it's it's everything needs to be done in a certain order, and we don't always have everything. You know, you can't do you can't do everything at once. You have to spread things out. Yeah. So, and then after you've fired your trebuchet, you should you have to like crank it back up, mm. maybe load in some new stones to get in some more counterweights, and then okay, fire it again. Question two: Can you guys make it so the chest and loincloths are the first basic people that? Because it doesn't make sense the other way around. I think they want us to uh, have the uh, the basic like loin cloth and chest pieces like these. The player, the the stuff. That these be craftable for players. They should be. Are they not? What? Because if you're on a no nudity server, you just start with them. Yeah, yeah, of course. But the the they. Were they were craftable before launch, and I'm hmm. <laughs> we'll I need, look into this now. I need to go check my character. <laughs> That's really weird. I think we're overshooting this thing. If, if not, then they, they should be there. They just have randomly disappeared from the crafting tree for some reason. And of course, you're gonna have to uh, aim the trebuchet just a tad to be able to fire and to be able to hit what you're aiming at. Now I'm picking a plant farmer, and now I'm cranking the trebuchet. Okay, hold on. Uh, so two of the questions. Da, 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 da. Uh, do you plan on wiping officials for big updates? Well, uh, that'll that'll be assessed as we go, basically. Uh, what project are you guys working on now? Since you can't do all of them, what's your main focus at the moment? Moment besides bug fixes. Um, there we go. So we're working on the siege update. So the siege update includes a bunch of things. Uh, it includes some elements uh, of glass orbs, which you see in the Conan stories, where some wizards are throwing around glass orbs with certain types of damage types. It includes uh, the ability to climb certain things in bases. Um, it includes a bunch of more siege weapons like uh, ballistas. Uh, what else do we have? I'm trying to think. We have defensive cauldrons. Corpse lockers. The corpse locker, obviously. Which, which I still about. don't know what is. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a, it's a container that you basically put dead bodies into. And they oh, rot. okay. Over time, they become diseased, and then you put them in this as ammo. And you fling them. We're actually working on um, some new tiers of explosives to make the explosive system a little different and mm -hmm. for, to allow us to balance it better. Um, yeah, basically that. And like, right now we're firing on uh, tier one walls and we're knocking them down with one punch mm -hmm. because we've, I think we've added some more, um, some more. Uh, yeah, you guys are cheating the on the damage. We're cheating a little bit on the damage. We're uh, working on uh, five times normal yeah, damage. Right? Five times normal building damage. Usually it takes. Two boulders. It's two boulders for tier one. Yes. Um, depending on the the velocity angle. 
as yes. well, I think. And then there's um, five to six boulders for tier two. I think it's yeah. ten. And I think it's ten for, for, tier, for three. Tier, tier three, yeah. And uh, if I equip my repair hammer, you can see here that the uh, trebuchet is slowly taking damage as you're firing. And um, uh, so you need to constantly be like working on the trebuchet and mm, Yeah, repairing. you need to improve it, right? Which is, again, part of the defensive mechanism of the trebuchet. Yes. And so like as we're doing all of this, people can like run out from this gate here and just like wreck me. Hmm. Uh, Tweaknuts is saying that he'd ask me one question, but I probably already know what it is. I think I might know what it is. And uh, if she's still interested, she can DM me on Twitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That sounds amazing. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Nobody DMs me on Twitter like that. A uh, lot of people DM me on Twitter, but it's mostly about, <laughs> hey, this thing is Any broken. Any chance of this implementing different broken. styles of walls and roofs plus implementing corner roofs? We are working on different styles of walls and roofs, but they will come in the biome update, which comes with new cultures. Yes. You are slowly breaking down. Do you remember, did you ever play the old, the old game? What was it called? Was it called? No, Defender of the Crown. No, this doesn't tell me anything. Defender of the Crown was a game where you had to slowly break the walls down piece by oh. piece, and you had to very accurately aim. Yeah. Classic. And something we should mention also is that the, the boulders, like, they are affected by gravity, and they mm. will bounce around. So if you're able to get them inside, like, uh, like the walls, for example, they will bounce around in there and hopefully uh, take, something, take something down. Uh, the sandstorms are, yeah. <laughs> the sandstorms are not working as intended. Somebody is asking about the sandstorms. The, uh, we are doing an update where we will be adding oh. both the damage. Did you just break the trebuchet? I did just break the trebuchet. But uh, we have, <laughs> luckily, we have some other trebuchets. Okay. And as you break the trebuchet, you get some. some you get stuff the stuff back. back you right. get the stuff back, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to just uh, go to a different place. I'm just going to uh, finish my sandstorm thought. Go ahead. Sandstorm's being updated with A, yes, it's supposed to do damage to people, but B, it's supposed to have special monsters that spawn only inside the sandstorm. For people who are able to go out in it and there's a couple of other things um coming with the sandstorm so that's cool let's see if i can uh, hit and that will yeah, our um, trebuchet with this trebuchet let's see can i do that Sorts are awesome until you die da, da, da. see you can also use them defensively like if i were a you little bit guys more planning on making a system thing? that won't punish solo players it, it depends what you mean i mean if you Playing solo on a 40-man server and you want to compete with clans of 5 to 10 to 15 people, that's just never going to happen. One person is not going to be able to compete. And that's just an economies of scale thing, yeah. guys. And I'm not sure we can do much about that. But of course, if you're talking about solo play, yes, we are trying to make things... So one of the things that I want to implement before launch is a set of settings that are basically for setting up single player. So if you want to play on your own, you can push a button... In, and it will automatically adjust the server settings to something more like a single player balance. That sounds like a good idea. And we, we have talked about things like making bosses scale to clan size, so we know that, for example, the undead dragon takes a lot of hits to kill, um, unless you're a full clan, and, and things like that. So we're, we're definitely going to be looking at that as we go forward, but right now we, we're sort of focusing on you know, bug fixing uh, and yeah, adding the elements that we want to add to make the game, you know, work the way that people are asking us to make I'm it work. Add some more siege boulders, and uh, let's see how this goes, shall we? Come on, hit it! Yes. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Sharky's had a good win, win last week. Uh, hey, what's up? Wait, what? Oh, mate, you wouldn't understand. Is <laughs> that an Australian thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, AU servers coming along. I, don't, I need to check that with ops, but the last I heard, they were sitting in customs waiting uh, for. They have hardware. cleared customs now. So they cleared and customs. We're, uh, so I we're guess getting them set up. up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to cheat a little bit and just kill everything that comes around. You should have put us. him on the trebuchet. <laughs> should have done that. Yeah, I read really, like I wish we were playing uh, local play right now. We're on a. Funcom, uh, you're wrong. attacking base down on Flatland. Yeah, I know. We're we're demonstrating the trebuchet. We're not yes. trying to make live conditions perfectly reproduced here. I think um, hopefully this next boulder should take. The wall down, at least part of the wall down. Uh, uh, the boulders aren't really that close to explosives, but yeah, guys, we're doing an explosives tweak very soon. And I'm gonna kill that deer as well. The rest of the faction armor is coming craftable soon. What's missing that's not craftable now of the factions? Do you know? Uh, I think everything is craftable as far as I know. Oh, maybe the Stygian stuff isn't set up properly. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll check it. I believe. Yes, we will be adding stuff like that. It's not that hard. I think uh, we're going to need some uh, more... Um, I think we're going to need something stronger than just the siege boulders. So I'm going to start adding in the demon fire. I'm going to just add 
as much demon yeah, fire as I can. Someone's asking about mod system. Um, the so we have coders who are working full time on the mod system. So I'm not sure when in their plans it is to make sure that they auto download, but I'll talk to them about it. Uh, Station and Zamorian dancer outfits are not craftable. Um, they, the relic um, hunters. Okay, yeah, it's the relic hunter stuff. We just need to add an armor with the setup. It's quite possible that we just need to add the thrall. And I think the thrall exists because I remember writing descriptions. Oh, yes. Cothic demon fire. Yes. And hopefully this, some of the walls should now start Yeah, this down. starts to crumble things, right? It burns for a while. Because this is basically napalm. Yeah, it's yes. well, yeah, ish. Yeah, so, okay. Relic hunters, Stygian and Zamorian dancer outfits, they should probably be... Uh, Stygian and Zamorian dancer outfits are not craftable? Hmm... Now I need to check that. <laughs> well, they should be crafted. Okay. At least. Hey, Oscar, if you're watching the stream, you should come in here and explain why the Zamorian and Stygian dancer outfits aren't Yes, craftable. let's have Oscar in here right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> calling the lead designer in to come and explain a few things. <laughs> if, he's, if he's watching, I can call him on my phone if you want to. No, no, he'll come. It's all <laughs> is, right. Is he watching this? Are you I'm sure? I'm sure he's watching. Are you destroying Torregel's base? I am destroying Torregel's base. This because is cool. you know what? It is pretty fun to destroy his base. It is pretty fun. Like, it is pretty fun to destroy people's stuff in and this game. The demon fire is <laughs> is quite expensive to craft though. Sure. Black hand outfit is definitely craftable. You just and need the right throw. Oh, I think I hit one of his uh, houses or oh, something. Man. You're yeah. wiping out his base. Hey, here comes Here's Oscar. Here comes Oscar Lopez Lacaya. Come in, Oscar. The uh, lead designer of the game. He's going to come and explain why armors <laughs> a, we're doing a change to the armor system, which I want him to explain, but also... You're going to have to... I think you're going to have to, like... I, I'm gonna either you're going you're gonna to take Joel's place. I'm going to leave. You're going to leave? You're going to leave had, me here alone? I had this, everyone at the office as I was Spaniard? walking past going, Go, Oscar, go for them. Explain to them why it doesn't work. There we All go. All right. Um, Samorian Dancer Armor is actually in the game, unavailable, through a thrall. People just haven't found this thrall yet. Um, Stygian Dancer Armor... It's not available because we have to fix a little problem with the way it is set up. As soon as we fix that, we will make it available. And it will probably be made available also through a thrall. So that's it. Hello, everybody. This is Oscar. You, if you hey. followed our pack streams, you might have seen him. Uh, he, um, yeah. I, I have some of my voice back now. He has some of his voice back. And we broke this trebuchet. You used it up. You could repair it while, uh, while we still, still have, there. But we have this trebuchet. Yeah, well, you have so many trebuchets, yes. you don't care anymore. Uh, we uh, we did some uh, some demoing of the trebuchets for a yeah. video, so we can just like uh, we can basically mess up as much as we want to. Um, there was there was something else that Joel mentioned also that we are medium doing armor. To armor. Yeah, so because you wanted to mention something about medium armor. Yes, we're doing some changes with the way medium armor crafting works, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna give uh, hopefully a quick explanation on what we're trying to do there. Uh, we are slowly moving forwards towards a um, component-based crafting system Ooh. where you make things out of the pieces that things are normally made of. You don't make armor anymore by just putting leather and some iron, uh, iron studs or rivets together. Um, you make a frame with leather and then you add stuff to this frame. Uh, this has uh, multiple benefits for us and for the game in general. Mm -hmm. um, the main one is that it allows us to create a common uh, kind of frame piece for all medium armors that uh, people have to do a certain level of progress into the game to obtain. Um, this, of course, I mean, you can just get a friend to craft you this piece, and that's yeah. okay because we allow everyone to. It's like the, each other, yeah. it's like the mold from for yeah, the for the exactly dice. the mold is another example of this. Um, yeah. the standing torch also uses something like this, where you make it with a torch and a branch, uh, if I remember correctly, or yeah. maybe a. a, a good, um, so with armor, we're doing the same thing. Come on. You're gonna craft uh, yes. either either padding or lining for the armor first, and different tiers of armor will have will use different tiers of padding and lining. And uh, then you add stuff to it to make different types of armor. Like for example, the Exile armor will need more leather on top of the padding and also some iron because it has studs, right? Yeah. That's what medium armor is. Um, the, the Hyena armor that we introduced recently will uh, need the padding and then bone and eventually hyena fur. We're actually going to add hyena fur yeah. instead of the silk that it uses right now, which is 
completely a placeholder. <laughs> and um, silk and bone, right? And there is uh, another new type of armor that we're adding um, very soon that also uses a similar system where mm -hmm. you combine, again, you combine the padding or the lining with other materials that you obtain from animals or other sources to then make a different type of armor. Yeah. So we are doing it with mediums right now. We will soon add heavy to this kind of paradigm or change in, in paradigm. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, we do light. And um, all dancer outfits are light as well, so they will be affected by this. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. So um, that's the news about the, <laughs> the armor paradigm change. Um, this will come out to the servers real soon. So Awesome. All right. Uh, someone is asking if, uh, shit, what was it? Yes. Are we planning on using some sort of like skin system similar to Rust on the workshop? I don't think we are. What they're doing is they're selling. They're like pay, players can make reskins of yes. items and then sell them in the in the workshop. But you can mod whatever aspect you want to mod of the game. Uh, we that's why we want people to change the game in whichever way they want. Yeah. If you if you feel you can come up with an armor that looks special or different or better or more to your liking or whatever, and you have the ability to create these models and mod the game, just go ahead and do it. Uh, we are continuously working on new armor sets and adding more to the game as we make them. And we have plans to make many more than what currently exists. We also have plans to give them different functions because right now heavy armor is almost always better than medium armor. There's yeah. no, the, the only circumstance where heavy is not better than medium is if you didn't spend any points in encumbrance and you're carrying a ton of rocks or something. That's the only limiting factor right now. And we want to change that as well, where there will be situations where you want to be wearing light yes. and not heavy, right? Um, it's not supposed to be a direct vertical progression between the tiers of armor. It's supposed to, every, every tier is supposed to kind of preserve some kind of function in some situations. So, so we're working on that as well. And that means more armors, more changes to the way armors work, to what they do and what they offer to you. So. Stay tuned for that. We'll, we'll continuously be adding more stuff like that. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, finally, someone's asking, uh, yeah. Oscar, don't you think some of the new weapons after the last patch are a bit powerful? Some of the high-end weapons are incredibly strong and make the game a bit easy, in my opinion. Uh, the, that's a conscious decision. It's kind of like a bit of a shift that we took there. Um, the game is just more brutal, brutal in general, at all levels. Yeah. Um, if you're fighting you're fighting imps uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, as soon as you get into the iron tier, uh, you will notice a huge difference. Um, if you're fighting rhinos at the beginning, you will not notice a, such a big difference, but if you're fighting demons and dragons later on, yeah. and you're not using ancient or steel weapons, then it's gonna take you a long time to kill these monsters. Sure. Right? Yeah. The, in general, the, the gap between the power of uh, low tier weapons and high tier weapons is just much bigger now. And the damage uh, model of the game, like how, how hard things hit and how many hit points you have relative to that damage, right? It has become more brutal than before. I think it's about, about 3.5, four times more brutal than before. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's something that we decided to do. Uh, we thought that it was a bit silly to swing your sword 20 times at, at, at a crocodile or, or a, at a rhino to kill it that didn't feel heroic. So we just made it more heroic. This has, of course, some implications. Weapons are dangerous. PvP is much more dangerous. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> shields are much more valuable, which is also a positive thing. And we are also doing more changes related with shields to make them a, a valid and a legitimate choice and an option that you want to use yeah. in combat. Right? Uh, high level shields are extremely strong in PvP, but low level shields are, are not that useful right now. Yeah. We want to make them all useful in their context, right? And also all useful in PvE as well. So we're, we're working around um, how to solve that problem and how to make shields in general just yeah. operate better, right? But yeah, um, ancient weapons are basically the top of the tiers right now. It's a new tier that we added on top of steel. Um, religious weapons are slightly better than ancient. It depends on the god though. but. Um, uh, they are basically your best option, and um, you need to be level 50 to make them. <laughs> so, and you are basically sacrificing some of your ability to create avatars by making them. So, it's, it's up to you to decide you want to make that trade-off, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, in general, weapons are more dangerous. The game is just 
the combat is more brutal. Uh, this is all intended. Uh, weapons become more dangerous as you as you go up in level. The damage you do is directly related with the level at which you unlock them. And the materials also, I mean, you can have a high level stone dagger, which is worse than a high level steel dagger. Yeah. Right? Um, so that's more factors there that are kind of hidden. But in general, as you progress through your crafting tiers, you will unlock weapons that do more damage and that will allow you to basically easily kill monsters that are supposed to be easy for you at that point in the game. Yeah. And a lot of the high level monsters are maybe a bit too easy at the moment. And it's something that we're looking at as well. Mm -hmm. But in general, we want the dangerous levels to go to go up. So yeah. combat should be shorter. It should be much more brutal. Every decision that you make in combat should matter more. It should not be like a sore swinging contest to see who starts swinging first or who manages to stay in distance or whatever. There should yeah. be more to it than that. So. Uh, I should mention that, yes, the guy who <coughs> built this castle uh, is indeed aware of the fact that we're destroying it right now. Uh, he built it partly to help us do stuff with uh, trailers and videos and all that kind of things. And I basically asked him very kindly, can I wreck your shit during one of our live streams? I think I can he hear said, him crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably watching it going, oh, they're destroying my stuff. They're destroying you're, my stuff. You're base. throwing dollars at him anyways. It's like those uh, explosive uh, charges that you're throwing are very expensive. They are very expensive, but so. I'm cheating a bit and I'm just <coughs> spawning yeah, it yeah. because that's kind of personal. Everything is free here now. Uh, someone also right. asked uh, if you had unlimited money, what's the one thing you want to add to the game? Unlimited time and money. If, if I have unlimited time and money, I wish. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, uh, and we don't. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what's the context of the question, but um, no, we don't. We have to make very difficult choices sometimes about what we decide to put in the game. And if we had. If we had, what would I add? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Obviously, I have infinite time and money, right? So I would just add absolutely every feature that we ever wanted and everything that everybody wants. <laughs> so. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should just let Joel jump in again. Sure. Let's do that. Sure. Joel. I'm sure they're going to miss your beautiful, your beautiful face, though. So. <laughs> I, I well, thought you were going to mention this. I think I need accent. a beautiful face first. <laughs> but, hey, guys. Um, bye bye. Bye, Oscar. Friday Funcom Fun Fest. Yes. Now I get to. <laughs> Sit down and people are like, bring back the guy yes. who knows what he's talking about. Yes, Tavon Fist Jones, this is blatant admin abuse. And, uh, <laughs> that's, um, so, uh, yeah, that's... Um, uh, they do not seem to care about mm. the way the gods are putting an end to the game. No, I, guys, I've got to be clear about this. We are working on stuff for the avatars. We've just released a bunch of servers that don't have avatars enabled, official servers. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's not that we don't care. It, it's just that things take time. It's not easy, right? And and we realize that avatars are... Uh, some people don't like them. But the other side of it is the problem is not necessarily with the avatars. It's with the cost of avatars. It's with some of the ways in which people are getting avatars. I mean, if you can get it five arch priests in a day, that's a problem for being able to get avatars. But if we fix the spawning system so that you can only possibly get one arch priest a week from a certain spawn, then it solves the problem on another level. There are more balance considerations here and we're working on them, trust me. I, I really want to emphasize, we care and we're, we're obviously concerned about it, but it's stuff that we need to work on, right? It takes, mm -hmm. takes working. Cool. All right, continuing. What are yes. we doing? Have you shown the die system? I have not shown the die system. I am continuously trying to take down Turegil's uh, <laughs> walls. Nice. And, uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's this keyboard, but the E key is a bit unresponsive. I am guessing it's a keyboard because it's been working up until this point. There we go. Maybe I already. Well, have. the black hand has Stygians, ah. and the Stygians have Zamorians and Scenario. The Relic Hunters are a faction, and the factions can have more than one race in them. Yeah. Just like the black hand is a faction, and it can have more than one race. It's not the Stygians and the Sumerians, though if we have the Sumerian faction, say we have a, a faction called the Sumerians, they will only be Sumerians. Yes, we've seen the, the Pippi mod. Yeah, the Pippi mod's amazing. It's pretty fucking incredible. It's pretty uh, cool. So uh, if you, uh, and maybe we'll, uh, I don't think we'll steal stuff from it. We should just like... hire those guys. It can work for us. <laughs> we should do a valve. We have a bunch of positions out on the website. Yeah. 
Jobs.com and Exiles. <laughs> Jobs.funcom.com is yeah, what yeah. it is. So yeah, the Pikmi mod is is uh, yeah, that's uh, it's fucking amazing. To, <laughs> okay, we can uh, maybe show off some uh, die stuff. Uh, and, uh, to do that, <laughs> why is there a floating gazelle? There? I don't know. It it spawned inside the tree for some reason. Early access. <laughs> now it's dead. <laughs> I apologize. We're also working on AI. Trust me. We are doing we that. Are doing We're that. working on everything. I don't think actually, I actually saw a pretty cool implementation of uh, some uh, some nice visual fixes to the way things move on slopes. I'm just gonna so, observe some of the damage so, that we've which done. Which isn't it's... like the the focus, but hey, the. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't mean we're focusing on fixing visual things. It just happens that the animators found a way to fix something that was pretty broken. So yeah. cool. <laughs> Glory be to your pretty face, says TCO TSW. So, mm. yep. Yeah, TCOs, you know, we go way back. <laughs> All right. Um, God, dies. Joel, will you make Trump invade China? No, <laughs> but you can build a wall, guys. <laughs> you shouldn't say stuff like that. Oh, no, for... So um, <laughs> For, uh, let's see, we need... Lighten one. up, Francis! <laughs> <laughs> what do we need? We need the blacksmith's bench, and we need the furnace, right? To uh, make the dyes. I think we do. Yeah, we do. Don't I we? thought you were just going to spawn the dyes and show the system. Yeah, we can spawn. Yeah, <laughs> screw it. Let's just spawn in the dyes. That's screw it! Let's do it live! That's what I would have done. Uh, die, I think it's other. other. There we go. Uh, let's just spawn some of the basic stuff the to begin colors. with. I think I'm gonna just spawn a big old stack of all of this. Cyan, red, blue. Dying green, system's fun and yellow. Allows people to customize purple, stuff. So if you guys haven't seen this, this is yeah. We tried to keep the the dyes somewhat lore. Lore friendly. Lore friendly. Yeah. So we so didn't have people running around in hot pink uh <laughs> armor, but yeah. Will the map get big with new biomes? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Mm. And the way we're like the way we're doing it with uh, with the die system is you have to um, you have to make a flask mold in the uh, I think it's the, um, in the carp no, in the blacksmith bench, and then you have to uh, put crystal to make glass into a furnace, and then glass and the mold. That's how glass works in yes. real life. Yes, <laughs> that, that's how glass works in this universe. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry about killing your gazelle, tiny peanut. Um, but you shouldn't have left him inside the tree mm. because that's an obvious marker saying, hey, kill me now, please. Let me see. Let's um, see. Sounds great. Just don't spawn thousands accidentally. Can you rate the game in your opinion what it is today and what it will be in one year? Oh, that's really hard to say. <laughs> Four out of ten now, ten, ten in one year. That's a lot of faith and I appreciate it. When we add cause combat system. Well, in. there is a combat system, but we will improve it. <laughs> we are working on that. We are indeed. One of the things I reviewed today was uh, a, a huge improvement to the way that people react to being attacked when they have a shield up, including giving you time to actually respond to that, which is cool. Um, any chance in the future that we can throw, throw players from the Trevor I'm pretty sure you can do that right now. We you can do that on local play. It doesn't work on the dedicated that's not servers, the de but that's, dedicated uh, that's a bug, and it's 100% intended for you to, to throw yes. yourself. There is some uh, tweaks we want to do to fall damage and stuff that yeah. will <laughs> make it less viable. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Da -da 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 -da. Any chance we s ability to dual wield? Yeah, we'll, well, we already have some dual wielding stuff. Uh, you want special dual wielding animations? Possibly. Uh, make sure you vote for that stuff whenever you get the chance so that we can, uh, we can prioritize it. Yeah. Do you guys have any dimensions? Dimensions? I don't think the map will get ten times bigger. Right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's about a third of the full map at the moment. Yeah, it's gonna be so it's, it's gonna be a bit bigger. At there's, least. Yeah, there's two thirds to come. Yeah. So it's about thirty three percent of what it should be. So the die system. What was the name of that mod you guys mentioned before? The Pippi Abby Pippi. mod. P I P P I. Mm -hmm. uh, like Pippi Longstocking, if you're familiar with her. Uh, we'll be sending out a survey very soon, asking people uh, to rank the list the updates that I listed at GDC. If you guys have seen that video, mm -hmm. but anyway, we'll we'll include them what they are. Um, and basically, you'll be asked to rank, the community will be asked to rank them, and then we will make some of our development decisions based on where things fall in the ranking, what yep. we work on first. Why would I do a dungeon in PvE, Demon Blood is useless? Probably because you want the new armor set, yes. the new weapons, and the new items that do things that you can't do anywhere else in the game. Maybe that you want to fight the new boss. That would be one reason to do the dungeon, and possibly to fight the new boss, yeah. yeah. 
ETA on Xbox One, I think we said later Q3 this year. Q3 is what we've said go. now. Um, yes. Uh, Taming Hyenas would be great. We need nudes on Xbox. I hope that we get rated in a way that allows us to put nudes on Xbox. Are you dyeing your pants? I am dyeing my trousers, or pants, if you will. Because pants mean underwear in British. That would be underpants. Yes, but pants for short. Anyway. Why do people keep calling me Joe? <laughs> because because they think your name is Joel, I guess. It's Joel Mount's with an L at the end. Will there be? Oh, you mean more than one person on a mountain? Maybe. We haven't really thought about it, but we could. I could see a mammoth supporting more than one person. This is basically our die system. Necromancy. Yes, that'll be in. Yes, Rob. Oh, hey, someone's posting yeah. in chat. You, uh, yes, Funcom. There, it's, uh, I think it's Nicole, our latest uh, addition to the community manager team. Thank you, Nicole. So, thanks for that. She's now chanting Joe, Joe, Joe. Will <laughs> the new biomes be added to the current map, or do we have to travel there in any way? There's a bit of both, but uh, you won't have zoning or anything. They should be a part of the current map. But there'll still be some stuff you might need to do to get there. Yeah. So the way you die stuff... Do you stuff, think they'll be sold over 1 million copies on Steam in 2017? I sure hope so, <laughs> but I can't say because yeah. I can't predict the future. Can we talk about the die system now? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Let's do that. I'm just reading... <laughs> this is the best. I love mm -hmm. answering questions. I've noticed. You. <laughs> I like that. Ah, the community. Is this going to lead to more rumors about us really hating each other again? <laughs> the community got to know, man. They got to know. We've <laughs> yeah. got to get it out there. Yeah. All right, so basically what you do is you have your uh, armor or clothing or whatever in your inventory. <laughs> There's a deer. I'm cloaked right now, so he doesn't see me. Uh -huh. And uh, basically you just click it, or <coughs> click die, and then you can see all the dice you have available, how much you have available. And then you have all the four channels here. So you can make this white part uh, purple, you can make this red part you did I just green. said something about the law, the dyes being lore appropriate and then you immediately went in and tried to find the most garish colors you could, didn't you? That is always what I do mm -hmm. in games that allow me to of customize course. the color of things. Yeah. Like I played the um, I played the Mad Max game mm. from Avalanche, I think it, and at one point you get the ability to uh, to basically color your car. And then, so I made it hot pink just to like see what it looks like inside, and it looked like shit basically. And so you can make a nice little purple outfit if you want to. Camouflage. Yes. You'll be able to hide amongst all the purple yeah. things. I also saw there was a guy on a YouTube video who basically dyed his entire armor red, apart from I think it was uh, the stuff here, because then it was like Iron Man armor. Ah, I see. Which was... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Marvel, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> Disney. <laughs> I heard you guys plan to fix the combat system, but what can you... Uh, you need a little more tile to regain your composure. Well, yeah, there's, there's a few things. You need to have poise to start with, so that you don't get knocked down by the overhead attack of the two-handed hammer. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, fun comment here. I thought you said dice system. No, dice. nice. Yeah, you think. <laughs> are we going to add gambling at some point? DKP. Maybe we are. Maybe we are. Um, yeah, we we huh, moving things instead of destroying them every time. Yes, that's been discussed as a quality of life thing. Something I'd like to add. Mm -hmm. Seeing you organize. Any See, isn't this auto nice? It's all purple and gold and red and slightly mm -hmm. brown and orange. Auto organize <laughs> feature for inventory management. Go to the top. Above, like here? No, in the custom. There we go. There you go. Auto organize. I'm pretty sure we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. By type. By type. By yeah, we do have this feature, guys. Yeah. Joel will be able to paint the walls or the buildings. Oh, Oscar wants to come back. He's got some <laughs> magic stories to share. Come in, Oscar. Come. Join uh, us. But did, I, did yes. you think of something else that the community needs to know? But no. I, the oh, game yes. being in early access, we are going to like continue tweaking and fixing the like the avatar system, the religion mm -hmm. system, and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be updated. And it's going to be it's going to be improved. Oscar had something to say. So I, think. I just checked. Uh, can they hear me if I speak from? I here? think you should like co come and crouch down between right. me and Joel. So I just checked. Hi again. I Welcome. just checked the, the um, data table for uh, which thralls have access to what recipes. Right. And the Samorian set has actually been eaten by a guru. It's, it's not, a, it's not <laughs> that's actually... A very good, that's a very good reference. It's not right. actually in the game at the moment. We will put it in the game and it will come out in a, in a patch very, very soon. Okay. So I was wrong thinking that it was actually in the game. It's not. 
we know, I mean, we have plans on where it's supposed to go. We just, I guess, it, kinda, I spent, I spent it got lost in one of our data changes or whatever. I spent so. hours writing text descriptions for that. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> oh, no. So since I just said that that's available by through thralls, it's actually not yet. It will be available very soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for checking that out. Yeah. Uh, someone is someone is asking about the how the Norwegian media cover us, and uh, <laughs> maybe we should just let that answer be <laughs> on. How the Norwegian? Oh, the Norwegian media. No, I, I feel that they release. Fair, unbiased coverage. So, so here's the thing about here's the thing about Norway. No. I, I don't think we should uh, get into that. Yes, they've been. Uh, Wait, was that Ali? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I can see him just like sitting, sitting at his desk, like sweating profu profusely. He's watching this, I'm sure. So, <laughs> cool. Give me uh, explosive javelins on my mount, and we'll talk. I like that idea. I'm not sure. Conan rode around with explosive javelins, but are hey. you trying to tell me, Joel, that you don't like this lovely color scheme right here? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? You well, don't uh, like you know, the coloring that I've done? As a big fat man with no style, <laughs> I I, uh, I have no comment one way or another. Maybe someone likes that. Are we ever going to be able to dye our thralls? Yes, we're talking about. We need to add inventories to thralls so that then you'll be able to dress them how you like. Yep. I'm just going to spawn in just like a bunch of purple. <laughs> oh, I think Arling is there. There is a time and place for everything, Joel. <laughs> nice. Possible in future to have sex with female thralls. Why just females? Yeah. I mean, give something to the men sometimes. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's... What if you're playing a female? Like both like both oh. men and women need fan service. And sometimes the women <laughs> want fan service it by watching <laughs> It can go either way. I have no idea. Men. So... Sex, is, make sex, is, sex has never been something like, I mean, Conan got a lot of girls, but he didn't, there was not a lot of gratuitous sex in actual Conan stories. Um, he did have sex with someone on the shit, on the deck of a pirate what's, ship. What's, what's, ah, didn't he? think about, yeah, sort of, the, the scene ends before it happens. He just crushes her to his armor and, and she heaves with passion and then it ends. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, let's see, 90 degree or 30 degree corners. Yeah, we talked about making the triangles more interesting for people. Timeline on camels and mounts, that will depend on how the survey goes with people. Do you see grappling hooks being a thing? Absolutely not, because you'll be able to climb without them. Uh -huh. um, we'll be able to get fighter thralls to follow the player. We're hoping to add more intelligent behavior. Um, there we go. See? This looks nice, doesn't it? For the mounts, how will the taming work? No, it won't be similar to Ark. It's more about knocking them out with a giant stick and then dragging their co them back to your base and forcing them. It's going to be to weird be knocking trained. out an elephant with a giant stick, though. <laughs> it's a really big club. Uh, Rambo Jenkins asks about the Australian servers. Uh, like whenever we can get them online, they're being set up right now, as far as I know. So um, hopefully, very very soon. I'm. I really want Australian public servers and, mm. or official servers as we call them so uh, we're uh, it's, it's being worked on it's being worked on over in uh, Australia basically or wherever the servers are located in I think Australia. it's on Australia no they're in Australia it's only Australian customs is that annoying to get so <laughs> hard with right? yeah you would know being Australian yes why How can't we be obese well we might be able to be one day but not now we didn't want people to make really really weird characters and yeah. stretch the armor in weird ways let's see someone asked me if two people could ride the same mount maybe we haven't worked on the we haven't worked on setting up that yet so it, it will depend uh what are your thoughts on knocking out the players out and caging them i think it's hilarious but then i'm more of a troll than other people are um i'm not really sure we'll see we'll see uh i think that would be fun actually mm. I really do think that would be fun. Tweak Nuts offered to help with setting up the servers in Australia. Well, sure. <laughs> uh, He's a good server admin. He really is. What are you guys going to do this weekend after the stream is over? When are you going? You're going to see your kids. I'm. <laughs> I might I'm see going to the theatre. Theatre. What are you going to see at the theatre? <laughs> uh, there's this. Uh, there's an improv theatre thing where they're playing FTL, Faster Than Light, and acting out scenes as they happen in the game. What? Yeah. Why didn't you invite me to this? <laughs> I feel like I could be your plus one to that. <laughs> because I already have a plus one for that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be... Uh, That's pretty cool. I think it's going to be fun. And, uh, oh, uh, I like the lane claim system in Landmark. Someone's asking about that. Um, 
Yeah, there's oh, like a demon fire. <laughs> you're back to demon fire, and you missed <laughs> the um. I did miss shit. Yeah, we we've talked about that system as well. We actually decided to go with the system we have after weighing the pros and cons of both mm -hmm. uh, earlier in development. So, will the US office work on Conan Exiles in the future when S? You mean swole? <laughs> Yeah, um, Andy, I'm really Andy and Nicole. I'm sorry. It's it's swole now apparently. Hey, we we work on Conan, man. To us, everything's swole. Yeah. Um, like players have been calling Conan Exiles C E X, sex. Well, some players have at least. I like it. I've also heard Con X. Con X. Con X as nice. an abbreviation. That's not bad. Uh, but yeah, swole. The uh, the uh, yeah the Americans are working on swole, mm. mostly. Will poise be able to stop hammer knockdown spam? Spam. It should be able to already. If you're wearing hammer on and you've invested in agility as the stat that gives you poise, you should be able to mitigate most of the knockdown spam. Uh, thanks for answering my graphic question. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, an <laughs> it's spreading now. An elevator system with ropes and pulley system used by elephants for building purposes. I mean, I love the idea. I'm just not sure how easy that would be to implement. Sex have, and swallow now. Have a you thing. guys seen live PvP? Arrows are lacking speed. I keep getting feedback from people that arrows are too fast. Really? That it makes it hard for the, to dodge them. Hmm. Damn it. Why do people have to give me conflicting feedback? Why do some people prefer fast arrows and some people prefer slow arrows? Uh, someone's asking about avatar defense. Yes, there will be avatar defense. No, well, yeah, sort of. It's not going to be an avatar that defends your base, but there will be defense against avatars. Whoops. That will last. Yeah. Perks for loot itemization. <laughs> we have recipe drops on... You'll see in the dungeon you can now learn feats from finding certain things and you can learn uh, new types of recipes from finding certain things in the world and we're going to be expanding the exploration system, changing the map in the game, which I think will be quite interesting when mm -hmm. people see it. And yeah. Uh, maybe we should, uh, before we wrap up, talk about the new dungeon that's coming sure. hopefully next week. Before we Hopefully. It will be coming next week faith, yes, before so Easter. It will be. Uh, yeah. So it's called The Dregs. And it's going to be. Can we can we show people where it's going to be located? Sure. It's going to be located here, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's designed to be an, an, a new type of experience in this type of game. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it has puzzles. It has. Uh, interesting exploration mechanics it has a story that you can follow through to a certain extent it's not like a again it's not like this here's a gigantic story with cutscenes and everything but there's there's a, a fair bit of lore and things to pick up in there and then uh, yeah the idea is to play through either solo or with a group of friends and uh, find out the story and what's happening in there that's the idea so yeah and that's coming well just Next week, you're just smashing everything. I'm just destroying now. stuff now. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> such a troll. Yes, um, I'm just destroying stuff now. Mm. Uh, it is not April Fools here. Stick Death 1980. So oh, uh, April Fools. That's tomorrow that's on Saturday. Tomorrow. Um, it's true. Someone's asking about terraforming. Uh, we've been asked about terraforming before, and we're not going to do it. It's really not possible in the engine we chose. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not without a lot of work. Yes, basically. <laughs> a new word on He-Man DLC. We'll leave that up to the modders, I think. I have the power. I like it. <laughs> trebuchet is too OP? Well, then we can... I've heard co conflicting things. Someone told me that trebuchets were way too overpowered. Wait, no, we're underpowered. you have received conflicting feedback? Yes. It's never happened. <laughs> and uh, now I'm just destroying things because I like seeing things blow up. And I at least I hope I'm doing. priority of mounts. Well, the priority of mounts is set to be the third major update we work on, at the moment. But we're sending out a survey before Easter. Yes, mm -hmm. people will be able to go through and rank the updates in the order that they would like to see them. And when they choose those things, we will then probably alter our work priority based on those things. Yeah. Uh, Track style. It'd be cool to visit your server, man. Yes. Just, uh, PM some Funcom or whatever and we'll... You can PM us on uh, Twitch or you can uh, just PM me on Twitter. J-E Valer, J-E-V-A-A-L-E-R. Um, and that should uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully reach me at some point. I think the survey, the way I want the survey to work, by the way, is that it will pop when you open the game. 
um, and only pop once so that we don't get feedback from the same person 50 times. Oh yeah. Unless you want to buy the game 50 times. I hate in which case I you're hate entitled hate to give us feedback 50 times. I hit his houses. Times. Look, it's all crumbling. I hit his towers. <laughs> Is that why he's at the door now? <laughs> Who? Fred? He looks kind of angry. <laughs> no, that's not so totally angry. That's Fred. Run! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're uh, coming up <laughs> on about an hour. Um, uh, someone's asking if there are plans to add new official servers or wiping a few of those live right now. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we're going to look at the server balance. Yes, we are. We just, for example, made a couple of avatar-free servers mm -hmm. today so people could uh, try that out. We wanted to see how popular those are. Um, yeah. I don't know. Have any feedback re avoiding Warsaw or IP? I think we were already working on improving it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been improved a bit, but mm. uh, of course everything could be improved more because mm -hmm. this is early access and not everything works. So uh, we're gonna like if you have if you think VoIP uh, needs some improvements, please let us know what kind of improvements it needs. So uh, yeah, let us know. Um, and uh, I think we're gonna. Funcom, why does a server mod require the client to have the mod? Can you explain this ridiculous mood? I I don't know the details of the server mod you're talking about, so it's very hard for me to say. I think but they mean the, that uh, if you have a mod installed, no, if a server has a mod installed, and you don't have a said mod installed, you need to have a said mod installed. But that's because the, the version numbers need to line up and the yeah. pack files. And, uh, that's because it's alignment checking it. I mean, that makes sense, right? Especially if the mod on the server tries to do something that your client doesn't have the data to do, then it will just crash mm -hmm. otherwise. So that's why. Yeah. Um, da -da -da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought on people climbing on each other. I think that's hilarious. And <laughs> like now, stacking on top of yeah, each other. Yeah, now now the weight system will kill them if they do that yeah. too high. So. If you're like five people on top of each other, then you're gonna kill the one. Mm. The the bottom one is gonna die. Mm. Um, so uh, someone's also asking about tents and stuff for nomadic tribes for RP servers. Mm, there should be. Yeah, we we're doing placeable packs as well with a bunch of new furnitures and things like that. So mm -hmm. as we add those, you will get new objects that you can have. Cool. All right. I think that's it all. Is there any, should I answer one more question? I think we can take one more question. One more question. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> see this, the, now we have to like pick a good one, for example. Will it be, oh, hold on. <laughs> I like that people like you, Remco. Is that some of the things that you, uh, you, uh, you did? Did you work uh, on? I didn't work on your MCO, the, but I was I worked on AOC. Yeah. I just didn't work on your MCO. Uh, yes, we are fixing problems. We are patching the game pretty much okay, every single week. Okay, someone's saying at 999 agility and with heavy, you still get knocked down 100% with the same downtime. Well, that's just a bug with the poise system we need to fix. Yep, then we need to fix that. Uh, <laughs> Rambo Jenkins asked, do you love me? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I think that's more weather types. Weather. Oh, that's that's more weather types. Yes, absolutely. The new biome is going to come with a bunch more weather types and a new temperature system. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. All right, cool. Then I think we're going to call it. All right, and thank you guys for uh, for joining us for, for joining listening us, to us. For listening to Ramble us. Ramble on for. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more streams and get into this. Uh, yeah. yeah, get back into the routine now that we can. I want to. I want to be here next week and show off the new dungeon. Dungeon time. And I want. I want people to join us. Like I want to do some kind of like walkthrough with with other people from, from from other places. Like maybe invite some streamers or something. We'll oh see. My God, that'd be fun. I think. Then, fun. then I'll look even worse <laughs> playing the game. But that's fine. But I'll be playing. You'll just sit here oh. and answer people's questions. I'm not allowed to play anymore. All right, guys, we're gonna call it there. See you later. See you guys.